good morning students today i am going to explain about human reproduction human reproduction it is an inevitable process inevitable the word meaning is it is unavoidable we cannot avoid it so we cannot avoid it means it's very essential to live our life and reproduction is used to do survival of the species to continuation of our species so that is the uh, that is they called in the one word that is inevitable and it is also we can tell it as it is for the existence of the species continuation of the species and survival of the species so it is very important uh, reproduction is very very important that is they are telling in the one word that is inevitable uh, word and uh, one more is the homeostasis the word meaning you should know in the last year itself that is the meaning is to maintain our body internal body our body internal body is maintained continuously by the term is called homeostasis so so internally our body has to be maintained by reproduction system only our reproductive system only so that it is internally maintained or the regulated as well as it has to be a survival of the species it is not only for the human spe human species it is also for the uh, all other living beings that is animals plants everything it is very important so survival of the species or the continuation of the species or the existence of the species is very very important so that's what i am going to explain today reproduction that is human reproduction this is just introductory class okay next is so in this class i am going to explain about what is the main function four important main function of human reproduction what are all the important even going in the human reproduction is very very important okay so the main function first one is to produce the gametes namely sperm and ova you could have heard what is the gametes in the last year itself both in the botany and zoology so you know that gamete is a germ cells what is the germ cells and gametes you could have know already so that is the male gamete and female gamete whenever the male gamete and female gamete is united we are getting that zygote yes so that zygote is coming from this gametes only so the male gamete is called sperm female gamete is called is ova so the sperm which is coming from the testis and ova which is coming from the uh, ovaries of the female so this is the uh, important cells or the gametes for the uh, reproduction process so the gametes means male gamete female gamete male gamete name is sperm female gamete name is ova which is arising from the ovary of the uh, female and the sperm is arising from the uh, testis of the male so this is the first main function of our reproductive system next one is to transport and sustain this gamete so this gametes has to move yes this male gamete this sperm has to be transpo transported and it has to be sustained in the female body so to transport to sustain or the maintain this gametes both male and female gametes also done by the uh, our reproductive system again the to nurture the developing offspring yes nurture word is like inevitable we saw in the last slide likewise the nurture also nutritious we are giving nutritions to the developing offspring offspring meaning is fetus the growing fetus or the growing baby or the growing embryo or the children which is growing inside the uterus of the mother which is get nutrited by only the function of the reproductive system so to nurture the uh, developing of offspring developing the offspring is nutrated by nurture word meaning is nutritions so the nutritions is giving to the developing offspring and also it to produce the hormones and also it's to produce the uh, hormones it is used to to produce the hormones you know you could have studied in the endocrine system of the last year in the zoology so to produce the hormones you know the what is the male and female sex hormones the male hormone is testosterone and androgen and one more hormone and for the female hormone is that is estrogen and progesterone in the time of pregnancy so during the pregnancy progesterone hormone is secreted by the females and other time it is produced to the estrogen hormone in female and the male hormone is that is androgen and testosterone is produced 
so these hormones also produced by our reproductive system so there are four important functions of the reproductive system one is to produce the gametes namely sperm and ova that is male gamete is sperm female gamete is ova to transport and sustain these gametes so these gametes that is male gamete is coming enter into the female body so that transport and sustain or the maintain this hormone this gametes is done by the reproductive system one of the function and also it is nutritious the uh, developing offspring so the male and female gametes are united now the embryo is growing inside the uterus of the mother so that is nutrited by the main function important function of the uh, our reproductive system and to produce the hormone i already explained you hormone hormones are always coming from the uh, pituitary gland this is we studied in the nervous system of zoology in the last year next i had explained you what are all the major functions of the uh, reproductive system now i am coming to the major events which is going in the reproductive system of human beings first one is gametogenesis you should not forget this terms and events so these uh, terms are all very very important in case of the human reproductive system when you are reading the reproductive system this term is all very important so that's what i am stressing here gametogenesis the gametogenesis is the formation of sperm genesis spermogenesis and oogenesis sperm genesis process sperm is produced oogenesis process oovum is produced so the spermatogenesis is takes place in the testis of male and the oogenesis is takes place in the ovary of the female so it is commonly it is the sperm and ova male gamete female gamete i had explained you in the last slide the same the male gamete female gamete is collectively called gamete so both of them is produced is term process of the gamete is production process of the gamete is called gametogenesis so the male gamete is produced by spermatogenesis and the ova is produced by female that is oogenesis the spermatogenesis and oogenesis is collectively called gametogenesis that is main first important event of the human reproductive system next insemination what is called insemination in insemination transfer of sperm by the male into the female genital tract so this you all could know so i need not to explain more so transfer of sperm by the female into the female genital tract to the process called insemination so it is transferring the sperm by the male into the female genital tract so it is transferring the uh, function that's it then fertilization fertilization is main important event and this may you get in the three marks of the uh, all question papers you definitely you will be getting in any one of the question paper like th three marks okay because that much important question it is the fertilization fusion of male and female gametes is forming the zygote zygote is a first life of our cell this is a first cell of our life in our life the first cell is zygote it is just 50 cm only but it is the first cell of our life so this is formed by the formation of female and male gametes why i am had explained lot of times about the male and female gamete from the male and female gamete only we are getting the zygote so this zygote is important that is formed in the in the event of fertilization next what is the cleavage you know that already i explained you in the last year in the biomolecule lesson and in the cell like cell cycle lesson i had explained you what is a mitosis meiosis you know that mitosis is and the type of cell division okay so that is in the rapid mitotic divisions of the blastocyst they are telling here so the zygote is there in the process of fertilization zygote is produced in the fertilization but the zygote is become the sequential event it is become as an blastocyst how it is coming as an blastocyst i already told you zygote is a first cell of life this first cell of life is become a blastocyst one cell is become a multicellular structure is called blastocyst so this blastocyst the zygote one cell is become a multicellular structure is called the blastocyst so this is done by the uh, what process cleavage process this is done by the uh, cleavage process so this cleavage meaning as rapid rapid word meaning as speed there is a speed mitotic division is takes place in the one cell of the zygote so the zygote is become a blastocyst blastocyst is a multicellular structure that means that one structure will consist of many cell 
but zygote is a single one cell that to it is a 50 centimeter the zygote is an become a blastocyst in the process of cleavage by the rapid mitotic divisions is called the blastocyst so this is a fourth important event of the uh, reproductive system and the one fifth one so the fifth one is implantation implantation means attachment of the blastocyst to the uterine wall so one thing you have to keep it in the mind this gametogenesis this insemination this fertilization this cleavage all the four things will be happening in the fallopian tube of the uterus fallopian tube of the female reproductive part so female reproductive part you could have studied in the last year so in that there is a fallopian tube you know uterus you know cervix vagina all the parts of uterus you, you have studied basics of the 11th standard so where ma'am this in all happening you may ask the question so this all will be happening in the in the fallopian tube only they will not happening in the uterus so this gametogenesis insemination fertilization cleavage everything is takes place in the fallopian tube of the female reproductive part when it is coming to the uterus means yes it is coming to the uterus in the process of implantation what is implantation nothing but the blastocyst which is coming from the bla blastocyst which is coming from the uh, zygote by the process of cleavage what is cleavage rapid mitotic divisions is bring the uh, blastocyst from the brought out the blastocyst from the zygote so in that process the implantation is takes place in the implantation attachment of blastocyst to the uterine wall so there is the blastocyst which is attached to the uterine wall so the blastocyst slowly it is moving from the fallopian tube to the uterus so that it is going and attaching in the uterus wall so that attachment of the blastocyst from the fallopian tube to uterus is called the implantation so it is also called the implantation and what is the placenta this is you could have stayed in the many pictures you know this that is placentation is it's a connection between the mother and fetus fetus means you know that growing baby okay right so the fetus and the formation of the uh, connection between the mother and fetus is called the placenta why man this unnecessary tissue for in our body they will be asking you can ask me so it is through this only the baby getting nutrated nurture so it is getting a nutritious by the way that is placenta this placentation is there is and the uh, attachment or the connection between the mother and fetus is called placentation formation of placenta okay and it is also name is umbilical cord what is that umbilical cord umbilical cord okay next what is the gastrulation gastrulation process by which blastocyst is changed into a gastrula with the three prime germ layers okay so what is happening now the blastocyst is coming from the fallopian tube to the uterus so now the blastocyst is sequentially next what will be it is coming as an it is changed as an gastrula what is called gastrula gastrula means the blastocyst is a one structure that structure consists of many cells will be there that many cells is coming as an the uh, germ layers primary germ germ layers what are all the layers germ layers you could have studied in the last year in the first lesson of the zoology you introduction part you had you could have studied that is there is in three layers that is endodermal layer ectodermal layer mesodermal layer that all the three layers is formed from the gastrulation gastrulation means the blastocyst is become a germ layer from the germ layer only we are getting the all our body the ectoderm layer skin and mucosa get formed and the meso layer that is a meso layer mesoderm layer we are getting all the internal organs and the endoderm layer we are getting the some other organs also we are getting so these three layers are responsible to form the organogenesis that is our different parts of the different organs will be formed by this germ layer so this germ layer is coming from the blastocyst so that it is the process is called gastrulation the blastocyst is become a germ layers so that germ layer from the blastocyst is called gastrula so this process is called gastrulation so now you can understand that i i hope you understand this next is next i'm coming to the organogenesis what is organogenesis the formation of specific tissues you could you, you all know that basic is cells is uniting tissues unite uniting of most group of tissues is called 
organ so formation of specific tissues so suppose we have in skin we you know that you know that different types of cells is there that is parenchyma sclerenchyma so different type of cells is there okay so 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 many cells is, is grouped together tissue so so many groups is tissues uh, together is a organ so formation of specific tissue so example our our heart is made up of cardiac muscle so cardiac muscle so many cardiac muscles uniting to getting a heart likewise our nephrons is making a kidney so the single unit that is single cell that making kidney is single type of cells that is making kidney is that is nephron you know that so nephrotic tissues is making a kidney neuron that is making our brain and spinal cord that is very important i had explained you lot of times so it is giving the neurons is giving our central nervous system and our important brain is given by the neurons so the neuronal tissues giving the nervous system organ that is brain and stem and the excretory system kidney is given by nephron so different kind of tissues is giving a that is specific kind of tissues is giving a specific kind of organ and organ systems so these are all coming from the uh, these are all coming from the three germ layers that's all next parturition what is parturition expulsion of the uh, fetus from the mother womb mother womb means nothing but mother mother abdomen from the mother abdomen lower abdomen so it is expulsion of the fetus means deliver the fetus you should not say it is a delivery of baby you should say it is a term that is parturition parturition meaning is expulsion of the fetus from the mother uterus other from the mother abdomen or the from the mother womb so she is expelling the fetus this is a time time for the during the delivery time the parturition will be takes place this is what they had explained in the parturition okay the gametogenesis meaning is to explain the gametogenesis that is spermatogenesis and oogenesis spermatogenesis means formation of sperm from the uh, testis of male and oogenesis means formation of ova from the ovaries and insemination transfer of sperm by the male into the female genitalia or the female genital tract we can say next fertilization fusion of male and female Uh, gametes to form the zygote so this is called fertilization so zygote is a one cell that is first cell of our life it is become a multicellular structure called blastocyst through the process of cleavage that is cleavage process is nothing but rapid mitotic division more and speed mitotic division of the zygote is bringing a blastocyst next this blastocyst so all the functions is happening only in the fallopian tube of the mother but when it is coming to the uterus through the process called implantation slowly the blastocyst is coming and attaching to the uterine attachment of the uterus is or the uterine wall is called the uh, implantation next placentation it is a connection between the uh, mother and fetus to nutrient the baby or the fetus so that is a placentation it is also called umbilical cord next the gastrulation means the placenta the gastrulation means the blastocyst again it is become a three germ layers that is a primary germ layers is called a gastrula so the blastocyst become a germ layers so its cyst is become a germ layer the process by gastrulation the cyst is become a germ layer is called the term is called gastrula process is called gastrulation and organogenesis from these three primary germ layer we are getting the specific tissues neuronal tissue for the nervous system like brain and uh, brain and spinal cord and for the nephrons for the excretory system all those things so organogenesis is a formation of specific tissues that specific tissues is coming from the three prime germ layers of the uh, gastrula so that it forming the organ organ system what is organ system kidney ureter urinary bladder is an organ system kidney is a organ but kidney kidney around in and around all the organs accessory organs of the kidney like ureter urinary bladder all those you are excretory system you have studied in the last year and in the neuronal system parasympathetic nervous system and sympathetic nervous system brain spinal cord all your parts of the brain cerebrum cerebellum all pons medulla everything is an organ system so this organ and organ system is formed from the three germ layers okay did you understand next parturition i had explained you expulsion of the fetus after full growth of the fetus fetus is ready to coming out from the mother body that is mother abdomen mother womb is called expulsion of the fetus is called parturition okay
in the sense it is a delivery and uh, next slide is the last slide that is a reproductive system primary and axillary what is the reproductive system in the reproductive system there is a two types of organs there one is a primary organ and secondary is an accessory organ is there primary organ i explained you ovaries and testes ovary role is to produce the ova or the female gamete and uh, the primary organ in the male is testes to produce the sperm so these are all the primary part and accessory part is nothing but accessory part is all other part of the air the uterus cervix fallopian tube and fimbriae all those things is accessory reproductive part of the air female and accessory reproductive organs in the male is epididymis sem uh, vas difference seminal vesicle these are all the air acts a prostate these are all the accessory part of the air reproductive organ that and all we see in the next class detailing okay so hormone secreted i explained you hormone secreted by pituitary gland that is your posterior pituitary is main play role in the hormone secretion so hormone is secreted by pituitary gland yes that the hormone is reproductive hormone is estrogen and progesterone in case of female in case of male is androgen and testosterone the accessory organ helps to transport what is the role of i explained you testes and ovaries are the uh, primary and producing the gamete what is the role of accessory reproductive organ yes i had explained you in the main function in the second thing transport and sustaining this gametes these the transport of the male gamete into the female body that is transported now it has to be maintained or the sustained so that will be done by the accessory gland accessory organs of our reproductive part so it will nutrate other tissues also the third main function is it is also nutrating the uh, offspring so hope uh, you all understand this video so in next video i will explain you detailly what is the male reproductive system thank you